about two minutes long okay <laughs> so i added mousse and oils in today's video to make it all into one and it's friday so yes this is the last video for the 2020 favorite series so before i go ahead and get into the details if you are not already part of the curly chris fam make sure you do one thing for your girl and that is to smash that button down below smash that button down below and you also may want to smash it because there is a giveaway going on right now, but only to those who are part of the fam, okay? So make sure that you are part of the fam. And the way the giveaway works is the video before this one has to have reached 500 likes, okay? If it did not reach 500 likes, no giveaway. If it did, then ha! Another one that will be chosen, period, okay? So it's very important that you like this video right now so it could be the last giveaway on Monday. Now, since you guys did get yesterday's video to 500 likes, there is a giveaway going on right now in the comments section. So make sure you are subscribed to Girls channel and make sure that you enter the giveaway, okay? Now let's go ahead and get into the details of my 2020 faves. All right, so let's go ahead and start out with the products. Now, the first custard that I want to mention is my absolute favorite custard of 2020. And the reason why is because I was able to get a successful wash and go, which you guys know I have been struggling with for a very long time. And that is the Cocoa Black Curling Custard, straight out of Ghana, literally from Ghana. I'm gonna show y'all how this thing came packaged inside that DHL bag. They said, I'm gonna make sure that this don't waste, okay? This is a Ghanaian brand that created this curling custard and they sent this to me in PR and I did a review on my channel with it and y'all, my curls were popping. I had no regrets. Um, it did leave my hair a tad bit crunchy, but the curls lasted and the only other con was the flaking, but I am interested in doing another review with this with putting a cream underneath first. So let me know if you do want that review. But overall, I love this curling custard. And it was just so good. And something that's so crazy is the color. It's black. Like, and the reason why I didn't mind the flaking was because the flakes were black. But they did get kind of everywhere. <laughs> um, so it was a little bit of an issue. But I highly recommend this curling custard. I know it's hard for you guys to order this thing, but the owner told me that she was trying to get through all the orders because a lot of you guys really did want this custard. Um, and I understand why, but the only way that I can tell you guys to order it is to go to the Instagram and DM her. If you type Coco Black Cut Curling Custard on Google, they will have some retailers that pop up and those are legit from what I've heard. Now don't quote me on that, but from what I've heard, they are legit. Um, so you can try to get you one, snag you one just by ordering online um, because I know it is kind of hard to order through the actual company since they are an international brand and a new brand, I guess. So the next item that I want to speak about is the Jerry Curl Wave Gel Activator. Now, this is one that I used on my hair for a wash and go, and I actually did like my wash and go. Um, but I feel like this activator is really what gave my hair like the curl and the moisture that I needed, because I put a gel on top of it, and I feel like with just the gel, my hair would have been crunchy, but I feel like the activator is really what made my hair more moisturized. And I only used this one time and it only has this much left. So so I guess you don't get to use um, this more than once. But I have a lot of hair too. Um, but I really did like this one. Now, let's talk about the only gel that I'm going to recommend. 
um, and that is the Curl Days Glossy Shine Gel. So I really did like this one. I did a wash and go and a twist out using this. And for one, the smell is amazing. I love the texture and the consistency of it. Um, and it does a really good job with clumping your curls, defining your curls. The only thing is it does leave a cast, um, but that can be broken with oil. But I really did like this, and this is also um, an influencer's product. So Curl Days is a natural hair influencer who came out with her own line. So most definitely support if you have not already tried this bad boy. Now the next thing I want to get into is mousses. So the mousse that I want to highly recommend to you guys is the Afro Sheen Texture Flexing Foam texture flexing okay defines and sets hair and that is what i use on my curls for this y'all look at this look at these curls like what do y'all see this hair like these curls are popping and i'm so happy that i use this product and what's crazy is i just picked this up out of my pr package and i used it um for, for my hair just randomly and i'm so happy i gave it a shot because i love this foam i most definitely will be using this again um the only other foam that i would recommend i was looking for but i don't know where it is um and that is the design essentials almond and avocado foam i really do like that foam as well like it gives you a really good hold and shine for your styles and i really did like that one as well so those are my top two of 2020 that i would recommend for foams because some foams y'all just don't be given the hold do you know what i mean it just be like eh well, I need to be like, eh. It'd be like, eh. You feel me? You feel me? Now, let's get into oils, okay? And I'm only going to be talking about four oils. Because y'all know I'm serious about my oils, okay? Now, the ones I'm going to talk about is the Ajwa Beauty Biomint Oil Blend. Clearly, I love the entire line by Ajwa Beauty. Um, then, of course, the Kinky Tresses Hair Oil. Now, let me talk about these. This oil is... The consistency is like that. You see what I mean? It's really, really like, it's not very thin, but it's also not extremely thick. Um, so I, but, but I love to use this one for sealing. Like it does a great job with sealing. Now this Kinky Trusses oil, on the other hand, sis is thick A. Okay. You see how it's not really falling as quickly? Very, very thick. Um, and I love this one for sealing as well. And I also recommend this one for sealing during the winter time um, because I just feel like a thicker oil to seal really locks in the moisture for me. Now, the next one I want to talk about is the Melanin Hair Care Oil. And this one is also a good oil, but it's very, very thin. As you guys can see, it's more on the thinner side, but don't let that fool you. It does an amazing job with sealing and the moisture. And I highly recommend that oil for any hair type. Um, Cause I know some of the, sometimes the heavier oils can weigh your hair down, but this one is a multi-purpose oil that is really, really good um for any hair texture i would say especially for mine i love to seal with this and i also like this one because it doesn't have that much of a scent um and it works well with any product that i put it with you know now the last product i want to talk about is not an oil for your hair but it's more so a scalp serum and that is the natural club strengthening growth serum the black caster um and carrot one and there's also a lavender one as well and i highly recommend these because it does a great job with strengthening your scalp and just making sure that your scalp is getting like its proper nutrients now one thing i will say is you don't want to use this oil every single day because that most definitely will weigh your hair down it's more like a two time three time a week type of oil but you most definitely want to use something like this during the winter time year around but most definitely in the winter because by our scalp being dry that's not really good for growth so you want to make sure that your scalp is not dry and one other thing i want to talk about is the kaleidoscope drops you guys know i've been using these um for a few months now and my hair has really grown and benefited from these results i am still going to post the month-to-month -month picture so don't worry i'm going to post that um, but I really wanted to mention this one because it's really, really good. And 
you guys see I'm already, I'm down to here. So I'll be using this bad boy up, okay? So yes, y'all, that is my entire list of my 2020 top favorite custards, gels, mousse, and oil. So make sure you guys like this video. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if I mentioned any of your faves or something that you want to try. Refer this video to a friend. Tell them to like it because you're trying to win a giveaway. And thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout this entire week. And I hope you guys really did enjoy the fun with the giveaways as well. But remember, the giveaway is not over. There's one more giveaway on Monday for today's video. So get this video to 500 likes. Period. That's it. All right. I'm going to see y'all on Monday. Peace.